Hi, welcome to a new video of the Target Individual Program, the Target Individual Experience. So, as my previous video stated, uh, this morning I woke up, no sirens or nothing like that, unlike yesterday. But my upstairs neighbor, as soon as I woke up, you know, started dropping things right over my head. And it's pretty loud, so that's when I did the video. I said, let me do the video and, uh, you know, see what happens, right? If, we could, if they're going to stop. And within about a minute or two, I guess when they um, realized I was recording, they stopped, right? Now, I was getting ready to leave the house. All of a sudden, a small airplane flying overhead, right? then uh heard sirens first time for the day now okay <laughs> so yeah you know they know trying to send me a subliminal message that hey if you go outside we're going to continue to target you i mean again it doesn't make a difference whether you go outside or not okay they're still going to um target you as a ti so just remember right it is all just to trick you and confuse you into becoming silent, trick you into becoming silent and confuse your mind so that you're not focused on what's really happening and what's really going on. So yeah, so don't be afraid. You know, look at the technology and you see they start looking at their shoes every time. Just, just keep watching my videos. You'll see them. Yeah, see them start looking at their shoes. Look, he got the keys in his hand. Hold on. Look. He got the keys in his hands. Right? <laughs> you know, again, trying to send a subliminal message. One thing that they've been doing recently, too, is uh, trying to send a subliminal message about continuing to receive my disability. Right? They're going to arrest me. They're going to get people. They're gonna get people to falsely accuse me of shit. Okay, so you gotta remember that. All right, as a TI, and particularly if you're outspoken, particularly if you expose what it is that they're doing. All right, they um, let's try, try to do these things, right? Ultimately, they want you homeless. They want you. They want to remove you from society, okay? Because it's their way of hiding what they've done, right? And once they get rid of you, no one will cease to, uh, you know, ask you any questions or what have you. Yeah, fuck you too. Yeah, see, even the people in the wheelchair. They're getting to target me, sticking his middle finger out at me. Right? You got you watch this video, you know, just pause it. Watch it and watch it a couple times and you'll see the hand signal. And as you stick his middle finger out, what does he do? Pinches his nose. Okay? So yeah. Like I said, it doesn't matter who they get involved in their targeting. If you're targeting me, you're my enemy. I don't care if you're Triple, crooked, blind, deaf, what have you, <laughs> right? Yeah, we play the shoe looking game, right? We play the shoe looking game. And they do this just to show you that how they can get groups of people to target you, even people that are disabled. Right to target another disabled person, a person with disability, which I have. And no matter what they try to say, right, they have caused me to have a disability, disabilities, not just one. All right, not just physical, mental, neurological as well. Okay, so yeah, your shit's not working with me. So you need to try again and try harder. Okay, try again and try harder. Yeah. 
Oh, watch, watch the hand movement. Watch the hand movement. Watch the hand movement. Watch the hand movement. Everybody hands go up. Watch the hand movement. That's what you gotta do. Watch the hand movement. Watch the fingers sticking up. Right? The hands going up. All of a sudden they're coming outside now. All the helicopters coming out. Helicopters and planes. Alright, so like I said, if you wanna know what's going on, like I said, watch the hand movement. That's what you gotta do. As soon as they approach me. I I approach them, I'm getting close to them when I'm walking. You'll see the hands and the fingers. All of a sudden, they start touching themselves. Right? Yeah. Oh, look at these guys. Uh, clearly, this is a bus stop, right? <laughs> Say clearly, this is a bus stop, right? Right, clearly, yeah, buddy. I know you're looking at my shoes. I see you. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. You know, I get to expose this in a way in which they haven't been exposed before, which is something I love, and I know, I know they hate. you to take the medication that you need right as a result of the damage that they've done to you okay so again uh, their way to escape accountability right and to hide the fact of the damage that they've done to you so you know they'll target you to not doing these things taking your medication or going to the doctor okay because they don't want you to have a record and continue uh, records of the damage that they've done. Phil, so, and I just, I just got a, uh, a call saying that my prescription is ready, come to pick it up. And now you're telling me that it's not ready? It doesn't make any sense. I get a call saying that my prescription is ready and I'm here anytime it's not ready. It's probably telling you it's ready for a refill. You gotta listen to the message. 
I listened to the message. You say my prescriptions are ready for pickup. <laughs> I mean, I get. Listen, I've been coming to this pharmacy for how many years now? That's online. It is unbelievable. I get a message saying my prescription is ready for pickup. Yeah, I see the bullshit. And, uh, I've got a prescription. I got a call saying my prescription is ready for pickup. I get here and tell me it's not ready. And normally uh, I have uh, at least three prescriptions that I pick up a month, right? Sometimes four, right? See, this is, this is the shit. I, as a TI, you gotta do it, man. This is like I said. This is what they do. They ferret your medications. They, you know, they don't want you to, to take your medication. Okay, hold on. You know what, can you just get it ready? I'll come pick it up uh, tomorrow. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, can, you, can you make sure that they fill it, right? I'll pick it up tomorrow. Okay? I, I got somewhere, I gotta go, I can't wait. All right, thank you. Uh, she's staring at my phone. <laughs> she is staring at my phone, because that's all that's, you know, I gotta go pick up my daughter. You see, well, this is the shit, right? Is the, the the delay tactics right? Always trying to make me late for something. Any appointment, any place you gotta go, they'll always do shit to try to make you late, right? <laughs> I gotta. I don't know how long. I probably missed the bus already, and I don't know how long another bus is gonna come because the way that things been going with the with the buses. Particularly at this time, for the past week, and you guys see what's going on. I'll show you guys. You know, like I can, I can, I can't tell you how many times I've. I've uh, show you guys this shit, right? How they delay, they do the delay tactics. I get called, so I pick my medication. I go, excuse me, yeah. Right paper in her hands. Oh, and I tell you guys, man, when I used to go on date early in my targeting, how they would have my dates with a, with a white piece of paper like that, right? Wait, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I come to go on a date with you, but you got a white paper in your hand. Just like that. The white eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. The shit didn't make any sense unless you know at that back then I didn't really understand what was happening. But now I'm recording this shit. So people can see. Right? Yeah, now I'm recording this shit so people can see. Like I said, you know. I use this piece of technology right here to show you guys exactly what's being done. Yeah, you can look. You look at my phone. Yeah, I'm exposing your shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I tell you, I love it when they act as if, oh, you know, like what I'm recording doesn't mean anything because I'm not exposing them. You know, that's their false sense of confidence, right? Because it's only me. You see, it's only one of me, right? So, yeah. <laughs> no, you did. No, you did. Ask her, where in the Bible does Jesus say that he died to give forgiveness our sins? <laughs> that shit is funny. They preach and talk about Jesus died for their sins. Jesus didn't die for your sins. The Bible, the Bible, we're in the Bible except for what Paul is saying. Okay? And that's who invented Christianity. 
okay? In the Bible, Jesus never called himself the Christ or the Christ. You know, even though the shit is fake, <laughs> you know, even though the shit is mythological. But he never said in the Bible, if you read it, oh, here comes the fire engine now. See, they know I got this shit on camera. You know, they know I got that a recording of this shit of what they're doing. You know, so here you see, hear them come out now. Yeah, that? This is real time reaction. Alright, to what's going on. Look, look at them. Mm -hmm. And you know it's a state. People don't believe that the state engage in these sort of behavior and experimentation and shit like that. Well, y'all got a professor, y'all got a short uh, memory. Look at the number 32 on the license plate. Yeah, dude, I'm walking over here. I see ya. Yep. So as I was saying, you know, many people don't think that states, even in, in a liberal state as New York, that don't think, remember, New York is one of the most racist states. Even though we as black people don't like to believe that or think that, you know, because it's more liberal than, you know, even even California, Chicago. All you gotta do is look at look at look at their history, look she walk out into the street. Yeah, girl. Yeah, look, touch, always touching himself. Look at that. Always touching himself. Okay? Always touching on himself. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Belief. Belief. <laughs> Belief. Oh, he ain't saving black people. <laughs> That's for sure. He ain't saving black people. So now they're gonna hold up the bus, right? Why? Retaliation. See how many buses went by? Three buses already went by on the opposite direction. <laughs> the blood the blood what kind of what kind of voodoo uh, you shouldn't even say voodoo because they, they basically de demonize voodoo but what kind of witchcraft talk about the blood they're covered in the blood of Jesus really I think they've seen too much of that movie Carrie that shit is going to their head. All these cars passing by honking because uh, the bus, right? This is yeah. This is what they do. This is how they retaliate. They hold, they hold up the buses. Try to mask it too. Don't be fooled by their masking. All right. Don't be fooled by their masking. She walks out into the street, does a hand signal. The one over here, I guess if she's scratching her head, she's scratching her damn head. Like I said, just always remember, watch the hands go up. Whenever you're watching my video and you see me walking towards uh, people, you'll see their hands go up. And they'll either uh, do what is called a hand fix, they got a palm fixation now, right? So their hands behind the back. <laughs> the palm open. That's the palm fixation drill. 
Uh, anyway, a couple things to know. Whenever you see me doing a video of unorthodox with people, you'll see their hands go up all of a sudden the minute they see me or the minute they walk by. And remember too, if you're not a TI and you're not around me, just observe people's behavior. And when you watch my video, you'll see how different they are to what I experienced, right? The, the constant uh, hands going up, the, the constant uh, pointing finger sticking out or the thumb uh, directed towards my uh, position, you know, constant stuff like this ha you know, happening, right? And you'll not just see this with women, but you'll see men doing this also, okay? You'll, you'll see that. And there's a reason why she come and stand over here and, 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 and is doing that. Right? Now she just walked out uh, into the street how many times to see there's no buses coming. But again, this is what they do. And this is why I gotta expose what it is that they do. It's a psychological program. But you see, they feel confident. Or what I just said about the thumb, the direction of my part, in my direction, see? But anyway, I call it as I see it. And what do they do? They'll send her a signal to come over here and do the exact same thing that I just said because they want people to understand. Not understand, but they want to show because they, they probably figure that no one's going to believe me anyway. Right? What are they going to say? No one's going to believe me. So you see, look, no bus is coming. Right? There's no bus is coming. Look, look. Another bus on the other side. That's the fourth bus. That's the fourth bus already. Okay. Now remember too, when I went before I went into the pharmacy, there was a bus that was going over, was crossing over. So. You know. How come all the buses are going in one direction and not the other? Alright, this is what I call retaliation. See, because they want me to be quiet. They don't want me talking about what it is that they're doing. They want to keep getting away with doing this stuff. Not just to me, but to other people as well. Okay? You know, and they, and they figure they got people so dumb down that you know people are going to believe them and you know they label us ti's as being crazy you know but trust me you don't hear me talking about reptilians shape-shifting aliens and all that stuff